Hello everyone and welcome back to Kentucky Garden Gal. This is Nancy and I am visiting the Botanical Garden in Huntsville, Alabama. And I came upon, they are calling this a demonstration vegetable garden, but in my opinion, this is what I would consider a potager garden. So that's what I want to do this on. We're going to talk about the elements that I see that makes me think that it's potager. Now, potager is a French word for anything that goes in the pot. So that is a pretty broad um, area there that of things that you can grow in a potager. Typically, they are laid out in some fashion. They can be, uh, they can be very plain and simple. This one has raised beds. It has vertical growing. They're using the trellises with the cattle panels. And then along this fence here, you'll see they have Malabar spinach. This is the Malabar spinach that uh, it's a perennial and it just, well, wait a minute, is that? Yeah, that's Malabar spinach. Okay, it's just about ready to go to seed. In the front here, they have herbs. Right there is a brown turkey fig. So let's just, uh, and they also appear to have flowers for the pollinators. And then it says, uh, please enjoy this garden with your eyes only. The vegetables are donated to a local food bank. Isn't that wonderful? And then that gives some information. It was started in 1992 and it's still planted and maintained. Now, before we go in, I do want to walk around just a little bit and I apologize if you aren't hearing me well, I do not have my microphone. This was not planned, uh, but this is just wonderful. So here are some demonstrations of some cinder block beds. It looks like they maybe are teaching how to do the cinder blocks, which that would be too high. You know, bed, uh, raised beds are typically four feet across because you want to be able to reach over. This is a compost pile that they have started using cinder blocks, which is a great design. You see it probably starts out here, breaks down, and then that would be the soil that they would use. And look, there is a monarch in there. Isn't that wonderful? Over here, they are demonstrating uh, water catchment. They have the water tank right there. Looks like they have more pollinators over here. In this area, they are demonstrating composting. So, let's walk over and get a closer look at that. And you can tell how you start out and then it breaks down. So there's the first pile. That's the second pile. It's been turned. There's the third pile. And then this would be the compost that is ready to use. And then this is another type of compost where you should be able to turn this. Sounds like there's a little bit in there, but that's also composting. And you know, you can see the area of this, but it doesn't have to be this big. Um, you could make something much smaller and have it maybe out your back door or have a place in your garden for it. But I, we want to go inside and take a look at how they've done things. And I think that, uh, it, well, I know you're going to really get some great ideas. So we'll go around and walk in. Now we're at the end of the season. It is October the 19th that we are visiting. 
It is in Alabama, which is probably maybe a zone eight, I'm guessing. So we'll just walk around and see what all they have. Thank you. This looks like maybe their first raised bed. Look how good and rich the soil is. And I would guess that this is all composted soil. They have some pumpkins there that they're decorating with. More than likely, they've grown those. Okay, look at this. This is the first structure with the cattle panels that we talk about all the time. And they have used some type of pipe uh, to put those in. Actually, it's two cattle panels put together. So I'm not sure what they had growing over there because obviously it's gone now. But um, this is, oh, they've got sweet peas in here. Look at those. Those are gorgeous ornamental peppers right there. And then look at this. Okay, this is where their beans go. So you see they just have a wooden bed. They have the tea post and then that, this is their bean bed, like green beans, I'm guessing is what they have. This is their cabbage. And look how they have the wire. If you have problems with critters getting into your garden, this would be a good solution. Just take this wire and bend it over. Not sure what they have planted in here, and I see that they do have irrigation, so everything is on an irrigation system. This looks like something that they have, I don't know what was in here, but it looks like they have uh, broken it off and put it back in there so that it will self-seed. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Maybe that was their okra, I'm guessing. And then here is another bed like we saw with the beans, but it has the panels in it. And then beside it, they have uh, basil. I wanted to walk back over. Okay, this is what I would consider a keyhole garden. And a keyhole garden is when you're able to walk into your garden and no matter where you are, you should be able to reach over into your garden. So I'm standing um, at the very beginning of it, and it looks like there is, maybe these are limas, I'm guessing. There's some uh, tomatoes, but this is, this is a wonderful example of a keyhole garden. And I'll get back so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. See the shape of it right there? This is really interesting. I love this. And this is a raised bed that uh, you can just walk up to. This is about my height. It looks like they've got cilantro growing in here, some tomatoes growing in here, some peppers. And then they've decorated it, uh, and this is probably maybe oregano. Yeah, that smells like oregano right there. But look at this. This is just so nice, and you could have this, you could put this anywhere at your house, and it looks like maybe they had children decorate the stepping stones, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. And then this is another raised bed. And you can see what they've got growing in here. It looks like mainly herbs. So back behind this little building, I'm guessing maybe this is their potting shed. And they are collecting water on this side. But let's see if we can figure out what they've got planted over here. And they have it enclosed, I'm assuming maybe for the deer. I'm not quite sure but it looks like this was built in stages and so they've added maybe fruit trees back here they added this on there is asparagus in this box a bit more asparagus in this box and then they've added more gates back there is some type of an arbor maybe grapes i'm not sure 
But look at the monarchs. They are so enjoying this. This is how it's laid out. They have small gravel paths. Let's see. I think this is the Mexican sunflower. Oh, look at the tomatoes. Wow. Those are still going. And this is a great way to grow your tomatoes to get them up off the ground. Look at that. I am definitely doing this next year. I like this idea. Let's see. We can tell what this is. Maybe okra? Oh, it is okra. Okay, right there. I see. So this is their okra patch. You see how the okra grows. Looks like they had a very um, good crop of okra. So we'll walk down. This, these are the pebble paths. More tomatoes. At the end, they have birdhouses. They have really utilized their space very, very well. And also look at the monarch activity on these flowers. That is just wonderful. And now look at the containers. They have incorporated containers. These are zinnias, gone to seed, of course. Here's some that are not gone to seed. This is basil back here in a container. But I have a lot of success using these black tubs. That is how I grow my herbs. But, um, Let's see, this is the other side of the okra. And they even have a raised bed inside the raised bed. So you can just do all sorts of things. This looks like eggplant, it is. I think it's some type of eggplant. I grew eggplant this year and it, was, it just did wonderful. Their basil, again. Now I'm not sure what was on this because obviously this has whatever they grew here it's it's over they cleaned it out but that's how they have it set up oh this was something that i really love look at these teepees i have a feeling these were maybe beans but there's one two three four teepees and it looks like they just took the bamboo put them in the ground one in the center and look how interesting that is. I definitely want to do some teepees in my garden um, next year. I saw these recently at a nursery and they had used the sweet potato vines and they were so attractive. This is what they call the hanging garden. Look at this. This is a really neat structure. I guess if you want to hang things, and then you can grow things up on the side. This, they are calling a small space garden. And they have everything from flower pots to five gallon buckets uh, to grow bags to uh, cat litter containers. And I'm sure everything has holes drilled in the bottom. And everything is set up on irrigation, as you can see there. But look at this. This is maybe six foot by 12 foot. The bees, look at all the bees that are in here. But look at the amount of food that you can grow in this small space. Here's another bed. This would be your standard uh, raised bed. And I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure if it's a plastic or what this is, but very, very good growing uh, space. And usually the least amount of soil that you want to grow in is four inches. I try to do more, but four inches uh, will do well. And, you know, it's so, the great thing about a raised bed is that you can amend your soil and when I say amend your soil, what I'm talking about is that you build up your soil. You're constantly putting things um, in your soil to enrich your soil. And one of the best ways to do that is with uh, compost and then with manure. I always, I use all of the um, 
the litter from the chickens to put into my raised beds. Now here, they have marked this one into a grid system. And you can see maybe it's a 12 by 12 and what all they can grow in there. It looks like mostly herbs. And then we're on the back side of this Malabar spinach. But look at that. And that's a perennial that will come back. Here's another raised bed. I think these are peppers here, more tomatoes on this. But I just, I saw this and it's probably one of the best examples of a potage that I have seen and I really wanted to make a video on this. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. It looks like this is about 15 minutes long and for the rest of the video, I am just going to insert some photos and some videos of the botanical garden. So just relax and enjoy this beautiful day and share this botanical garden with me. And as always, thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'm sending my love from Huntsville, Alabama. This is Nancy.
Thank you.